Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, there have been numerous reports, suggestions, and rumors that Microsoft is going to be releasing a new version of Windows sometime next year in 2024. Now, just to let you know that according to a new report by Windows Central and their sources, it is now suggested, and as I have mentioned previously, that Microsoft is planning to launch an AR-focused Windows in 2024. Be that Windows 11 version 24H2 or a possible Windows 12. Now, Microsoft has never officially announced what that version is going to be called. But nonetheless, it is suggested it could possibly be Windows 12. And just on a side note, if you want to catch up regarding Windows 12 on the homepage of my channel, here you'll find at the bottom a Windows 12 rumors playlist where there is plenty of content if you would like to play catch up and just get some more info regarding a possible Windows 12 release. Now, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, because it all kind of ties in. As many of you will know, with the release of the original version of Windows 11 version 21H2 in 2021, Microsoft changed the release cycle of Windows. And they went back to releasing new major versions of Windows every three years which takes us now into next year, 2024. That's why we are expecting a new version of Windows to roll out sometime next year, be that 24H2 or a possible Windows 12. Now, although they are planning to release major versions every three years, they have been releasing the smaller moment updates, like moment 1, 2, 3, 4. And then as we have just received 23H2's feature update, and those roll out regularly throughout the course of the year. Now, according to Windows Central and this report, which by the way, I'll leave in the description if you want to go check out the full report. It gives you a lot more in-depth info. I'm just doing a quick summary for the purpose of this video. According to this report, Microsoft is now planning to keep releasing one feature update per year. So they're changing this once again, and they're moving it back to a yearly cycle. And there will also be a final moment update uh, in the first half of 2024 for Windows 11 version 23H2, which will be the Moment 5 update. So Windows 11 23H2 is going to get one more Moment update, Moment 5, before we start heading into the territory of the next or new version of Windows that Microsoft is working on. Now, Microsoft will release a new major version of Windows in 2024. I think that's on the cards, and there's too many reports, suggestions, and rumors for that not to be the case. Now, this new version, according to this report, is set to roll out on a new platform called Germanium, and it's also going to be codenamed Hudson Valley, and will be released in the second half, as I have been saying, in the second half of next year, 2024. And the new Windows version will be rolled out as an upgrade um, if you are already running Windows 11, as an example, version 23H2. Now, as far as I know, there's not going to be any major hardware requirements between uh, version 23H2 and the next version of Windows 11, be that 24H2 or a possible Windows 12. The only difference may be if we go to Windows 12 will be that Instead of the minimum RAM requirement being 4 gigabytes, it might be jumped and bumped up to 8 gigabytes. So that could possibly be the only hardware change if you are upgrading from an existing Windows 11 device. Now, just to go through some of the key highlights regarding AR uh, in the next release of Windows, because it does seem that Microsoft is going to be heading in that direction as this new report confirms, because already we have Copilot and Edge Copilot and so on, which already brings centralized AR into the OS. So that is the direction, as I have been posting, that Microsoft is heading. But just a quick update and um, kind of recap as to some of the AR features we could see roll out. And this is just a quick collation according to this report by Windows Central. There may be some features that will require a new special NPU hardware, which is called Neural Processing Unit. So that could be on the cards, but not confirmed. And according to the report, there's also going to be a new AR-powered shell. And the shell of your computer, also known as Explorer.exe, is your taskbar. 
your start menu, your search, your notifications, and so on. So there's going to be a new AI-powered shell that is enhanced with an advanced Copilot. So basically, Copilot could be more built into the actual shell of the OS and not just be a feature that's accessed on the desktop, which will enhance search, jumpstart projects or workflows, understand context according to this report by Windows Central. And over and above that, um, it's also suggested there's going to be improved history and timeline features. So basically, you can scroll back in time through all the apps and websites that Copilot has remembered. And there's also possibly going to be super resolution to improve video games. And then one I have posted on previously, if we just head over to a GIF provided by Albacore over on X, and I actually posted on this uh, a parallax like effect, depth effect that could be coming to the next version of Windows. And this is just a quick demonstration of that. And while that's plain, um, wallpapers will be enhanced with a parallax-like effect, which is also known as a depth effect using AI, as we can see from the GIF provided. So that's something that is on the cards, and I'll leave that video down below uh, if you would be interested. So as you can see, as the mouse moves, it kind of gives it that depth effect, a 3D-like effect. So that's a possible feature that is coming um, with the next version of Windows, be that 24H2 or uh, Windows 12. Now at this stage, as you have picked up from this video, we don't know what this next version of Windows is going to be called. Um, we don't know if it's going to be called Windows 11 version 24H2, but according to this report by Windows Central, they are claiming, this is not confirmed by Microsoft, but they are claiming that it will not be Windows 12. Because the reason for that is that a new release would fragment the Windows user base further because um, we have just moved to Windows 11. And if they moved to a Windows 12, it could fragment things quite a lot, where um, users could get confused and not really know the direction, because we've just moved from 10 to 11. And then if they rebranded to Windows 12, there could, have, could be quite a lot of confusion. So that's a reason why the report is saying it may not be Windows 12. And um, this new release, as mentioned, could ship as a feature update for Windows 11 which means uh, it will be just like any other feature update. If we head over to Windows Update, it will appear as an optional feature update on your Windows Update page, be that Windows 11 version 24H2 or a possible Windows 12, which will make it optional. But nonetheless, that's just a quick breakdown of a very in-depth report by Windows Central, which I'll leave down below in the description. And as mentioned, that's the latest now um, on the next generation or the new version of Windows that Microsoft plans to release next year in 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.